Greetings everyone and welcome back to Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition with me, Kemzit. Continuing on with the custom campaign of Dmitry Donskoy in Mission 3, The Day of Union, uh, Union, sorry, which will be played out in the year 1371 and between 1375. Three, the sieges of Riazon and Tver, Congress of Princes in Peres, uh, Periaslavl. Since his remarkable defense of Moscow from the Lithuanian brothers, Dmitry has solidified his, himself as the prince, uh, as himself as the most formidable duke in Russia's world. But before Russia can be can dream of independence from the Golden Horde, its many dukedoms and principality must be united together. Achieving that unity means Dmitry must deal with his most influential enemies, Mikhail of Tver and Oleg of Ryazan. Through the Eastern Europe, the authority and prestige of the Midri group, where his name was spoken with awe in Vilnius and Constantinople in Krakow and the Prague. Even in distant Rome, the Pope heard tales of the younger prince who had routed the same pagans that vanquished his crusades. Uh, crusaders. But Dmitri himself understood the truth. He could not be a leader so long as he himself had a master. Looming across the wild step at the end of the road that, according to legend, was paved with crushed, crushed bones of Russian soldiers. Even after defeat against Algaridas, the Golden Horde remained strongest in state in Eastern Europe. From Volgoda to Livl, villages lived in fear raiders who could arrive at any moment to drag them away into slavery since the day of the Kalka River and century and a half before. Every Rus army that confronted the Mongols was swiftly crushed. Whatever it was bravery, madness, or fanatical belief in his own destiny, Dmitri chose to challenge the Horde again. But before he could confront the Horde openly, Dmitri needed a power base. In 1374, two years after the peace Algaridas, Dmitri called the Dukes and the Princes of Russia to Paris Lovell to discuss a united front against the Tatars. The rules of Smolniansk, Bryansk, Nizhny, Novgorod, Suzdal, Ryazan and many other dishes answered the call, though Dmitri was the youngest ruler and, well, whatever. Nor was it just Russia's uh, Russians who flocked into Dmitri's brand. The Niter and Dmitry Brobrovsk, an exiled princeling of Volnia, entered Dmitry's service as a voivod. Brobrovsk combined the ferocity of the mighty boyars with the cunning of the Lithuanian lords he fought with at the Battle of Blue Waters. But not all Russian princes were so eager to join Dmitry's coalition. Mikhail of Tver, brother-in-law of Algaridas, preferred to rule as the greatest among slaves, swearing filthy to, the, to both the Golden Horde and to the Lithuanians. To prove himself the leader of the Russian peoples, Dmitry had to bring Tver to his side, but it would not be enough to simply crush Mikhail in battle. Dmitry had to prove himself as pious and magnanimous prince worth not just of obedience, but of devotion. Now, so we have to kill two of the princes, all the while we're fighting the Golden Horde, I guess, while having some allies? We shall see. Um, let's see what the objectives are. Destroy five castles of Oleg of Ryazan to force his city's surrender to Dmitri. If you use Dmitri in battle, your soldiers will gain inspiration healing from him. Upgrade Dmitri of Moscow by using him in combat. Hints, Dmitri has a max population of 200 and made advance to the Imperial Age. First part, Siege of Ryazan. Don't worry about other enemies on the map. Focus on defeating Oleg Ryazan, who is unable to build new soldiers on the fence. You'll be able to build a new castle and town center after Ryazan falls. Don't throw away too many soldiers, you will need them later. There is no need to kill all of Oleg's soldiers. Once Ryazan's castle has fallen, they will join their new master. Part 2, Siege of Tver. The falls, uh, well, actually... Yeah, now let's leave. The Falls to Fair's submission, you must accumulate 250 points to, of support. You can collect these points in several ways. Labor in Muscovite villages from Tata Horsemen, 5 points per village. Defeat the Golden Horde, 40 points. Defeat the Mikhail's Castles, 10 points. Defeat an enemy, 1 death, 15 points. Complete a, a secondary objective, 15 points. Convert enemy trade workshops, 5 points. So we should try to keep that in mind that we don't destroy them. And. 
A defense to the Imperial Age 10 points, however, there are also many ways to lose support. If Dimitri Borborak is defeated, if Mikhail's, Mikhail's monastery is destroyed, if Mikhail Town Center is destroyed, if Mikhail's market is destroyed, do not let them let your support drop down below 30 or you will fail. Dimitri is here to unite the Russian people, not destroy them. Um, to force missions of Tver, so we'll need that. Okay, well, that will take some time. Okay, you can ignore the Golden Horde if you wish, but defeating it will bring many advantages besides currying support with the Russian people. It will also win you the support of Dmitry Bobrok and Ryazan against Mikhail. Mikhail feels the finest Slavic, Slavic warriors, so it will be difficult to use your own strength against them. Consider trying alternative tactics. This mission is based on the Siege of Riazan 1371 and the Tver in 1375 by the Grand Duchy of Moscow. Scouts, Dmitry of Moscow had his voivod Dmitry Bobrak of the Volhynia von Green has arrived outside Riazan. This city, uh, one of the strongest strongest Russi Russian duchies, is ruled by Oleg Ivanovich, 7 blue. We'll feel an army of boyard swordsmen and knights. This city loyalty is malleable, though... Though and once it is defense are comprised, the city and its warriors will join the Muscovite support you with boyars, spearmen, and skirmishers. Before joining Dmitri's Moscow cars, Dmitri Bobrok was one of the finest warriors in the Grand Duchy of Lithuania. His men still fight again in the Lithuanian manner with the force of paladins, cavalry archers, Lycii. Fearing Dmitri growing power, the Golden Horde Six Yellow had may have backed Mikhail of Tver as Grand Prince of Vladimir, and are bolstering him with a vanguard of steppe warriors. This vanguard includes the finest soldiers in the Horde, including Kashyyyks, Mangodaiks, steppe lancers, and even siege weapons. Dmitri hopes to make an ally of Mikhail of Tver to Orange, but for the time being, he remains the prince and most dangerous enemy. His garrison is in Tver includes boyars, champions, arbalists. Calvary's heavy siege and even detachment of Lycia from Vilnius. Okay. Oleg Ryazan is stubborn and not accepting our rule over his territory. It is time to have a sit down meeting where he can see a very little. Uh, be blah, 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 blah. My prayers to all brother. Let's take the city. Okay, we can. Uh, we need to take down this castle. Oh, damn. The Gezer is in a fall my prince. Should we press the attack? Well, we could. We need to destroy these th five castles. I think it's best to try and attack them from the rear, etc. Uh, I don't have much resources right now, but I would definitely try to upgrade these goods here. We could definitely try to charge from the other side. Let's do that. Let's go forward. If I can try to destroy those castles here, I'll be fine. If you use Dimitri in battle, blah blah blah. Well, fine. I'll try to use him. Hmm. Let's charge inside then. There we go. Perfect. Okay. 
меня Понятно. сделают. Да, господи. Атака! А сделаю. А, да, Понятно. господи. Вашему слугу. Оружию. Да, Понятно. господи. Приказание. А сделаю. Да, а Понятно. сделаю. Да, а Понятно. сделаю. Приказание. Бой! Да, да, а сделаю. Да, Понятно. да, а сделаю. Да, а сделаю. Приказание. Оружию. Да, 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 сделаю. Понятно. Приказание, Господи, а сделай. А, дэм. Да, Господи. Да, а да, 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 Приказание, да, а сделаю. Приказание, да, Рожь, да, а сделаю. Приказание, а сделаю. Бой. Да, да, господин. Найс. Эй. Приказание, да, тотчас, да, тотчас, а сделаю. Правильно. Зештит, 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 зештит. Приказание, ваше не да, а сделаю. Nice. I'll steal you. We still have quite a few troops. That's good. If we can go around here, we'll be fine. We'll receive some extra reinforcements because troops are really rare to have. And I would like to keep as much as possible alive. Hello, here I am. Fuck. Why did you guys do this, honestly? Shit, leave my things alone, leave it. What are you guys doing? Oh, you fools. Alright, nice. Well, just a few more and we're done. Um, um, gathering some nice resources here. Let's continue upgrading these things so we can get some nice economy up and running soon. No, you idiots! Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Oh well. Um, that's just two more of these castle thingies to go for. I don't know if they will get aggroed. If they will, then we'll be screwed, I guess. Yeah, they are. Shit, fall back. They always get aggroed. Fool, stay away from there. I'll try to attack it from this side. Hopefully, we will have a little bit of extra troops. Come on. We literally killed everyone, but we still have a decent sum of squads here because we've used our army nicely. I wonder how everything else will go. Can I try to aggro this dude? Yes, I should be. 
Come on. Come on then. Now let's just destroy this castle. At least some swordsman will join us, maybe. Or not. Or maybe let's just quickly try to destroy it. Ah, there we go, they have joined us. We will meet again, Dimitri, that's a promise. Oleg of Rizan has left, and it seems we have now captured it, I guess, or what, whatever. What now? Hello? Prepare your forces for battle to fail, let's finish the Mikal again, blah blah blah. Can I make some castles? Yeah, we can make some castles soon. But why do I have so few villages? What the hell? Ah, nice! Now we've finally taken some nice village here. Good. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. I need a thingy here. Hold on, um, Berberg, prepare your forces for battle to fair. let us finish things with Mikael and be sure to not let the Golden Horde Vanguard escape from the battlefield either. Dimitri, the citizens of Riza left this village at the supposal. You think you can fight without Algoritas? I knew about your stupidity, but I don't think you're so naive. Okay, Berberg will help us. Hmm. <laughs> well, kind of. <laughs> You're wrong. You have not even seen my full power. You will pay for your um, stupidity. I oh, shut up already. I'll start making a castle over here right away. And I shall start making a priest over here too. I'm going to also be able to start making some more villages slowly. Oh, Dimitri, hopefully your life is treating you well. Anyway, our mighty gone thinks of Mikael deserves his yelling more than you do. He's older, he's stronger, and no hard feelings we, uh, uh, no hard feelings we hope. Oh, and we're giving his military support too, sorry. Well, scumbags. I already found one of those relics. Could try to make even more town centers. How about we do that? Because we can then support more villages and quickly. Because we need to build our economy here. I'm tempted to already start attacking the enemy, but I don't want to go for a, a headlong charge. That would lead into a slaughter.
Right, go away, prick. By the way, I see another relic there. Could already, I think, to attack and kill them. Yeah, let's go for it. Whatever. Nice! We have freed a village, meaning we have now gained even more support, I guess. So let's start making even more farms, etc. We're now impressive and accomplished that we aren't just any duchies anymore. Now we are Grand Duchy. All which across Russia sympathize our army. Exactly. Hmm, this is good. Oh shit. No oh, wait, no mind. Понятно. 
Да. Да. Собирательница. Зыждительница. Зыждительница. Наказание. Зеждите. Зеждите. Nice, another town has been saved. That's good. There we go. Oh. Body hurts, must retreat. Да, понятно. Да. Приказание. How do you get in there then? Oh wait, I think. Can I make a siege workshop here quickly? Oh god. Another army of these bastards. Well, we have pretty much killed most of the enemy already. The dude nearly died. Get back here. Can I destroy this? No, we can't. We need more resources. Shit. It's high time to help my ally a little bit. Oh wait, he doesn't need help anymore. Good! Let's keep ourselves then. Church of Tver and the locals have joined us. Yeah, I 
Charlie. Да, не зару. Выжди, 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 тумица. Выжди, тумица. Здравствуй. Ас готов. Ас готова. Да. I'm gonna get through there, what the hell? I am still wondering as hell, what the... Heck, is one gonna get through there? No way to get that. This I have a mighty army now. more relics around. Oh no! Beat him already. You know what? I'm going to enter these lands of the enemy.
if I can beat the Golden Horde, I'll be good. Send forward some more armies, lads. And let's get a gold, quickly. Oh shit. Ah, bastard. Now that we have started to outnumber the enemy, we'll be able to kill them easier. There's one more thingy down. Come on, people. Nice! They are nearly down. If we manage to destroy this bastard, we'll be good enough to destroy the rest of them. Nice. There was another prince in Kiev who challenged us in the same way a hundred years ago. We burned his city and slaughtered a filthy thousand people. You Russian seems very bright, but if it's what you want, what did he say? Then so be it. Well, you get it. My prince, we have found Tartar siege engineers. We will, they will make siege engines for us in exchange for their lives. Timurid siegecraft drill. Ooh, nice. Perfect. Now. Start making some more people because we have now destroyed those dudes. We need to still liberate a few more villages. Where is my guy? Oh, here he is. Oh! He's starting to attack me, eh? Where's my dude then? Oh, here he is. Hello. Unless start attacking them. Ah, there was another thingy here. Another town liberated. Good. Just one more to go and we have liberated everyone. Hmm. If I 
can beat him, we'll be fine. It's gonna be proven to be difficult a bit. What I want to do is build a new fortified side here. All the villages are now saved, which is good. And that is fair, dude. Will be down soon. Don't try to hurt him from the other side. Hold on, what did... Hmm. Yeah, we may not do these things. Now it's time for me to move against Dimitri and tear down that ugly Kremlin and build my own palace like in Tver. For our, our Lithuanian neighbors have shown there, okay, well, he's starting to build a wonder, which is foolish because he cannot hold, sustain it. There's no doubt that I'll start needing some more stone, so I'll start building some here. We're gonna build some castles to spam units from this side. Now let's move our men this way. We don't want to destroy their lands, but we do want to destroy most of their units here. Hmm. Let's send my army forward. Hmm. Now, let's start attacking these dudes here. I'm 
gonna try to hurt this guy, come on. We will destroy this one then, Monastery Market, blah blah blah. Okay, I'll destroy his castles, etc. Damn it. You finished this pitiful wonder. Destroys wonder quickly. <laughs> nice. Now a few more points and we're done. I don't know if the three architecture looks the same. Exactly. Who cares about them? Ah, nice. Come on. Now let's keep on destroying their stuff here. I do however want to make a few more extra things here. Nice. 
Nice. Good. The city of Tversau is in our hands, but Russia is still not free. Now we must turn our efforts towards the Golden Horde. Now, we've done well. Sadly that I couldn't kill Mikhail, but <laughs> I've done well. Okay, the rich, the cities of Ryazan and Tver were subjugated to Moscovite leadership. Mikhail, for all his experience and ferocity, was powerless when the men of Moscow came before his walls. Uh, Chronicle said that when Mikhail approached Dmitry, it looked like a wolf approaching a puppy, but at the end of the day, it was the wolf that bowed into in submission, as all the rules of Rus did before the young prince of Moscow. Dmitry could have had his rival cut to pieces or exiled to a remote monastery to live out of his life in prayer, but Dmitry had come to unite the Rus, not dominate them. He confirmed Mikhail as a prince of Tver, demanding only that from henceforth he served Russia instead of foreign masters. Now all the Rus prince Russian princes were united in allegiance and against the common enemy, the Golden Horde. Few at the time knew the significance of their undertaking. The cities of Italy and Germany might feud amongst themselves forever to no purpose, but the states of Russia now shared a common destiny. What Dmitri had bound together, no man could separate. There's no doubt in that. Now, uh, we finished yet another mission, which is great. And we shall continue on with the fourth mission as soon as possible. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give a like button and subscribe to my channel if you're new and wish to support it. Do you want to recommend something or a good game to get out as possible as well? Just write down the comments box below or join my Discord server so we can have a chat chat about it. Till then, I shall see you guys in my next video with Binary Sunset.